This is problematic. This is problematic. The axle snapped. video as I can but uh, I'm gonna try to help too but uh, we're gonna try to pick it up and I don't know if they got a low boy semi coming or what we're in one of the bigger intersections of Faribault which is just outstanding outstanding Brian <laughs> Just trying to make sure it doesn't lock up so I'm in here to make sure the joystick and everything stays where it needs to be in neutral he's dragging me backwards um, see that's 7th Street we're sub several several mine I'm getting towed backwards right now I'm in here because the joystick was locking up and the neutral was having trouble staying there now it's staying there and we're able to pull the machine freely but the first couple pulls it was not letting go so we're getting pulled backwards and uh, we might just go this way all the way to the bins at uh, five mile an hour here so, and then uh, I don't know what we're doing from here, but uh, yeah. Well, we've created a tad bit of a pile up, but Glenn's towing and the, uh, the Fairville Police Department have been solid ever since I've got here. Glenn's was just showing up and uh, the police department had the road shut down and detoured, so I'm riding in the combine while it's getting towed. Two reasons, it didn't want to come out of neutral and it's kind of finicky. So I need to make sure it stays in the neutral, otherwise we're going to have a bad situation with the combine. It's hitting the ground again and yanking against the tow truck. Thanks, Tony! And two, um, and second, um, I wanted to make sure they didn't go too fast to overspeed on the hydraulics on the front. You can hear them, so I had to call them and tell them to slow down just a touch. But, uh, yeah, I moved the joystick back as far as it'll go, and five mile an hour is about where I wanted to go. Sweet home. John! Oh, that auger snout. Woo, that was close. Not much you can do about it, though. Boy, they messed up the side shields, those tires, when they came up. Just like what I was afraid of the front rim cracking doing. It's worse on the other side. He's doing really well backing this thing in. But, um,. Boy, everybody and their brother and sister heard about this, so don't hurt me making a, a video because uh, they all heard about it. Well, we got her up on some blocks. Now we just got to weld on it. But they're saying that uh, the weld for this crack didn't look fresh. Somebody already welded on it before we bought it. It's 7 p.m. Here comes the axle. Just disconnect all the hoses. And uh, we were hoping we weren't going to have to do this again, but uh, here we are. I think it's, uh, let me look in here. It's cracked across the top. Over in this housing down in here, and then all the way across, pretty much the whole, this whole area is like cracked straight across and down the back. So. You can see the crack a little better, oh yeah. It's cracked all the way across, we're gonna take it to a local construction company in the morning and they're pretty sure they can weld this up, beef it up. So, axles off the combine. Yeah, the plans are changing ever so often now, but uh, I think the same guy that welded the mulch finisher is going to weld the axle now instead of the construction company because the construction company is busy, it sounds like. So, um, the guy did good work. They both do good work, so we'll probably use the construction company in the future too, but uh, we're going to haul the axle to them in the morning. I'm teaching a class in the morning. 
so hopefully it's fixed by the time I get out in the afternoon and we can install it back on the combine and uh, go from there. But I had a little snow flurries there just now, so kind of melting and slowing down, but it was snowing, so god dang it. So that's it for this, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more, and uh, we'll, get, we'll check you guys later.